Angle readout, you have to set bearing to bearing, set the direction mode to bearing, if you want to see a bearing. So this model has that set. So I'm going to draw and enter a bearing. So I'm going to switch to the polar mode. I'm going to type a distance of 50. I'm going to tab over, and this is the trick. I'm just going to go straight to the trick. You type the degrees, period, period, the minutes, period, period, and then the seconds. And that period, period turns into a colon, which allows you to, so I can say north, 30, period, period, 20, period, period, 15, E, and data. And if you notice down at the bottom, it's N, 30, colon, 20, colon, 15, E. So that allows me to type in a bearing. Lottie, you can do it with the shift six, the caret for the degrees and the single quote for the minutes and the double quote for the, the uh, seconds, but it's so much easier just to do period, period. And now if we want to check that, we can go to dimension element. Fortunately, I already have the settings set. So we have this is the dimension you want. You want label line and angle over length if you want to see it like that. So that's how you do bearing with AccuDraw. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.